In this video, I'm going to show you the first step to creating one of the best defenses in Madden 23, and that is the ability to have a blitz attack, a, a defense that's going to give you some type of an advantage um, in terms of your pass rush. What is a good blitz in this game? That question is actually rather subjective. There's actually a lot of good blitzes in this game, and we're going to show you one of them. I believe that a blitz is the foundational element to defense in any year of Madden. You have to be able to get pressure on the quarterback. Now, does it mean that it has to be the best blitz in the game? Not necessarily. Some years, you would actually prefer some of the coverage principles. However, there is always a need for the ability to get home at the quarterback. And we're gonna talk about what makes a good blitz in Madden 23 in this video. What's good guys, Cody here. Also wanna let you know, we're gonna be in the 46 playbook today. We're gonna to be taking a look at um, the nickel 3-3 meta. This is a really good defense. There's also a lot of other good defenses we're gonna discuss in this video. If you wanna get my full ebook on all of these different defenses, I've got a ton of ebooks in my Patreon. You'll get an all access pass to that by joining the Patreon. The link is gonna be down in the description. $10 gets you access to everything in the Patreon. So make sure to head down there if you wanna check out those ebooks. All right, guys, so what makes a good blitz in Madden? I'm glad that you asked that question. Um, we're going to be talking about some of the meta blitzes and also how do you build your own blitz, okay? So we're going to be going into a completely new formation that I have not used yet, talking about how to create your own blitz out of it. But first, we're going to start with one of the two of the meta defenses. The first one is the Nickel 3-3, and this is the LB Blitz 0. Now, this is a blitz that has been good for years. The best way to create a blitz, in my personal opinion, is you want to first start with the foundational element, which is can we send five pass rushers at five blockers, and can we get pressure? So a way, to, a simple way to do that is we're just going to basically come out in a six-man pressure, such as LB Blitz 0, any kind of cover 0 from your formation. You want to look at the stock blitz angles, see what they look like, and then you're just going to run the play. And you're going to say, did anyone get home? Did anyone get home? Nope, they didn't get home. Okay, so what are some adjustments that I can do that might make this better? Um, and what I'm going to look at is how can we create stunts? So an example, this was earlier this year, we're simply going to pinch our linebackers. And what you're going to see is if I pinch my linebackers just like this, sometimes I get a looper around that edge. Now, that's not incredible by any means, um, but it is decent. And so I'm going to run that again, and I'm going to test this and just say, okay, if I stand here, how's this blitz going to work? And you see, again, I get a looper. So I'm sending five pass rushers at five offensive linemen, and I'm, I'm being able to consistently get pressure. So now I want to kind of tinker with this, right? Maybe another example could be I could pinch my line backers and I'm going to spread my lineman to create a little bit more confusion. So now you see here, uh-oh, the blitzer was, it was okay, but it wasn't great. And this is kind of the format or the foundational principle for teaching how to blitz. Also, where you stand with your user can have an impact. So if I stand here with my user, it can basically guarantee my left side pressure. And then I'll show you something else with this because what you're, especially in this year's game, you're really trying to kind of mess with the guard. If I stand over here, then sometimes this is going to mean that the, the right side pressure is going to be more consistent. Wasn't there, but it could mean that in terms of formation. Um, so those are some different things that you might think about um, in terms of building a blitz defense. Another thing is line crashes. Crashing your line down is going to make it play a little differently than maybe the default crash, right? So as you can see here, I wasn't able to get any pressure, so maybe that's not a good idea. Other things that you want to try is you want to try, you know, containing, right? When I contain, you're going to see here that this doesn't do much because my linemen are on the contain. But if I walk these guys out, you can even try stuff like that, especially in these formations this year. You're going to see that this is going to be one of the best blitzes in the game because this little loop concept is incredibly effective when I contain. So this is kind of an example of one of the ways that one of the best defenses in Madden 23 was kind of built. All these different tests, just testing out formation after formation and trying to see how can we create pressure, um, you know, with our defense. That's the biggest thing you've got to answer. Now, let's go into our new formation that we'll be talking about, which is the Dime Normal. I'm currently working on a defensive ebook out of this for the Patreon. If you want to get access to some of the material on that, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, but we're going to pick a cover zero blitz. In this example, DB Blitz Zero is a cover zero blitz. So we're just going to come out and we're going to run it. What I like to do is obviously you would never want to run a blitz from depth like that, at least not in these years Maddens. So we're going to go ahead and press our defense. And what you're going to notice here is, well, I am sending six at five, right? So that's kind of like, okay, that's not that great, right? 
So what I want to do is I want to zone one of these guys, right? So let's say we take that guy on the right and we put him in a coverage, you know, and then here, over here, we do something like this, like defensively. This is just our base little adjustment here. Can we get pressure with this sending five? And you see there, we get really good pressure sending that five, uh, that's five man pressure. So then the perspective comes, okay, so we can get some five-man pressure. Now I think the question is, okay, how does the five-man pressure, how is that going to handle when your opponent blocks a running back? So I'm going to block a running back here, and what you're going to see is, generally speaking, maybe, um, they're going to be able to block this left side pressure, and then they're going to have the time to be able to attack. So now I know, okay, I've got a five-man pressure. How can I make this five-man pressure come in when you know they block a running back well one of the things i might be able to do is i can take that nose tackle and i can man him up on the running back in years past this has actually been a, a formula for attacking you know blocked running back so you're working through this you say okay do something like this and you see it worked when i man up the running back the running back sucks to the middle of the field and the pressure comes in off the edge so what i did right there i'm going to do it again i'm going to pinch my defense i'm going to man up the running back and then we can put that right side guy in any zone that we want and you see right here that if they block the running back, a lot of times, not even a lot of times, but it worked last time, didn't work this time. Why didn't it work this time? Well, we pinched our defense. So now we go through, kind of back to the lab a little bit, and we say, okay, let's try not pinching our defense and seeing if we can just send this, send this like this, right? Um, and we'll see here, here's the blocked running back. You see, oh, well, the blocked running back is now coming over and making a play on that guy. So what are some things that we can do? How can we how can we how can we tweak this blitz? Well, let's try maybe sending six and see if this comes in against blocked running back. So you see here, send the six man. Oh it does. It comes in against a blocked running back. Now we go back to the drawing board and say, okay, what do they have to do to pick up the pressure? These are the, the steps to creating the best blitz in Madden. And these are the steps to creating your own defensive scheme. A defensive scheme has to in Madden especially it has to start with, do you have a good blitz? If you don't have a good blitz, it's really hard to consistently guarantee pressure at your opponent. It doesn't have to be the best blitz in the game, but how are you going to get pressure when they're sending five receivers on a route? How are you going to get pressure when they're sending four receivers on a route? That could mean they're blocking their running back. That could mean they're blocking their tight end. And I would test these blitzes against the most popular formations in the game. That's why we're talking about this specifically against the gun bunch. So you'll see here, if I stand with my user on this left side right here, this is going to trigger that guard that we were talking about, how my user can kind of change the outcome. If I stand here, it's going to trigger the right guard. If I stand here it's going to trigger the left guard so you'll see here i'm going to try to trigger that left guard you see there blocked running back and you see the blitz is able to come in and then you basically what you want to do is you just want to continue testing these things over and over again and that is how we create the best defenses in the game now if you want to learn the best defenses in the game i would encourage you to join the patreon we've already done a lot of this work for you and we have the best defenses and adjustments because the next step towards a great defense in Madden is how are you going to adjust the defense and create coverages behind it? That could be a match coverage, a zone coverage, or a man coverage, or a combination of all three. But those are some of the decisions that you have to make. Okay, so those are some of the things we're going to cover in these coming videos. But this is kind of a way that you can create what I think is one of the best blitzes in the game out of Dime Normal. And really without a lot of lab work, right? I, this is the first time I've really used this formation all year long. And we found a blitz in about five seconds that is going to be effective even if even if their opponent says you know what i got to block my running back because you're 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 bringing the the heat at me right you see here he was able to pick it up there now i'm dropping people and all that but at our core concept they're not going to be able to block this blitz right so these are some things to think about when you talk about creating how do i build my own defense what makes a great defense in madden to me this is some of the things that you need to think about first the first question you have to answer is how are you going to get pressure on the quarterback thanks for watching the video and check out the patreon the link is down in the description below